everyone, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's dye time I am not wasting any dye. I have here a little bit of sweet pea which is a fibre reactive dye from Dharma and I've actually mixed it with some vinegar because here I am dyeing an animal based fibre which is it's superwash merino nylon nylon blend. It is a uh, I love this yarn. I'm just, I've just poured over that um, that dye, and I'm just giving it a nice, good squish about. Uh, just trying to get the dye everywhere. It is patchy, but that's all part of the fun. I love it. There we go. So I think that's got all of all of the dye in there. Yeah, it's patchy, but I'm not worried about that. Now, I would like to set this dye to the yarn straight away, but my, uh, my saucepan that I use for these tiny amounts of, of yarn is being used for something else, and I'm impatient. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm gonna give it a little squeeze into this jug. All this stuff I'm using is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for food. Now, if we have a look at the jug, you can see that most of the, there's no dye in there. It doesn't look like it anyway. It's all in the yarn. Now, I, I didn't use a lot of dye to begin with. So actually, I'm really happy. And I am in a tangle now. That's fine. Don't try and untangle yarn while it's wet because you just end up in a huge knot and you might damage the yarn. It's also very hard to use cling film while I've got gloves on. Uh, I've got my surface protected with a towel and a cling film. I've got my gloves on, which I'm making sure is com they are completely dry. And I've just put my mask on because I'm gonna go into the dry dye powder of sweet pea. And uh, this is something I really want to do with all of my dyes. <laughs> I've got a lot, so it might take a while. Uh, I've done it with one of my dyes before, and it makes such a, produce such beautiful yarn that I want to do it with all of them. And I'm just speckling on this sweet pea dry dye powder on top of the sweet pea base, which um, I'm hoping uh, we'll see something. Sweet pea is quite a pastel colour, but I'm hoping if I use, well, here I am going way overboard with what I need. If you have a close up, you can see there are some specks here. It might not be quite so obvious on the darker patches, but certainly they're obvious on the lighter patches. And one thing that I really love about fibre reactive dyes is that when you use them in powder form and speckle like this, they do tend to break into the colours they're made of. So if we see, look here, you can see reds and blues, which I absolutely love. I'm going to very carefully flip this. There we go. Make sure my hands are completely dry again. And go and speckle on this side. I think I'm probably going to go a little bit, well, I know I'm going to go heavy on this. I always go heavy when it comes to powders and speckling. I find it quite hard to actually feel the dye. This is a really, really powdery dye, you can see. And then my gloves aren't the best fitted ones. And there's always that little bit at the end where dye gets caught and I can't really feel so I think I might need to get some better fitted gloves for doing speckling or find a different way of speckling. But yeah, this looks really fun. I am happy with this, she says, carrying on speckling. Leave it at that. Don't, one more bit, those little ends there. That's it, 
don't go overboard. Don't ruin it. And finally take these gloves off. I've had them on all day. My, even though I've worn gloves all day, there's been a couple of holes in my gloves. So, oops. All right, I'm going to carefully wrap this up in cling film. And I'm going to add this to my steamer basket and let it steam for about 45 minutes. This yarn has completely cooled down now. So let's unravel and wash it. Oh, that's pretty. There is a little bit of dye on the cling film. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because I did use dry dye powder. So that is something I would expect. But it doesn't look like there's any dye coming out of this, which is great. Just add a little bit of washing up liquid. This is cold tap water and I'm wishing I put a thing on this. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'll make it a bit easier. When using dry dye powder and then steaming, I like to be extra careful because there could be um, undissolved dye on this, but it doesn't look like it at all, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to rinse this out and then I can hang it up to dry. Here is my finished sweet pea yarn. I'm so happy with this. This is worked better than I could have imagined. I have done this technique before where I've dyed a very pastel background and then speckled with the same dye on top. And I do want to do that with all my dyes and I've got a lot of them, so it's gonna take quite a while. This has worked out wonderfully. If we have a look, you can see that sweet pea has broken into pinks and blues all over the place. And it's just made this really fun yarn. And there's a bit of sort of a burnt orangey color there. I'm not entirely sure where that's come from. It, there could have been a little bit of cross contamination because I was dyeing quite a lot of things that day. Um, but there's only a couple of that, those sort of burnt orange specks. And I think it works sort of well with the rest of this yarn. What do you think? I love this speckly mess and I think it's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed making it. This has been fun and I love it when things work out as well or better than they did in my head. And this is just encouraging me to go and do this technique with more of my yarn. Would you like to see me do this technique uh, on full 100 gram skeins of yarn? Let me know down in the comments. If you have a particular color you want me to try first, let me know and I will do that color first. I publish a new video every Monday, usually around about 6 p.m. UK time. And I do love to experiment and do fun things with my yarns. So there should always be something interesting and different to watch. Thank you so much for watching.